Alright, question B. Um, here they're asking for the 95% confidence interval for the percentage that would like to live in, New in Australia. So, of everybody in the digipol, how many of them wanted to live in Australia as a preference? So first thing we need to do is figure out exactly what our margin of error is going to be. And to do that we need to know how many people are going to be there, or be in the poll. So, sorry. We see Australia here has 11%. And if you read in the fine print down below, you'll notice that there's actually 750 people that were polled. So that's our n is equal to 750. So remember our MOE rule of thumb is 1 over the square root of n. But keep in mind that's only valid for percentages between 30% and 70%. Otherwise, it's going to be actually a bit smaller. And in this workbook, they have the old formula that was part of the old standard where you can work out more precisely. In the new standard, it shouldn't be required of you, so I'm going to role model how I'd answer this question with the knowledge that you have for the rule of thumb being simply between 1 over the square root of n. So, um, this is the question we're going to be looking at. What is the 95% confidence interval, blah blah blah, we've already got that, that it's 11%, and we want to know basically how far below and how far above that it's going to be. So my population was 750, so my rule of thumb is going to be 1 over 750, and that's equal to roughly um, 3.7. And to create my confidence interval, I'm going to go from the 11% in the middle, minus 3.7 to figure out how low it goes, and then plus 3.7 to figure out how high it goes. And in this case, um, <coughs> we get down to 7.3% at the bottom, and we go up to 14.7% at the top. So, with my confidence interval, it gives me kind of my best guess or my idea that really the number of Australians in this poll could possibly be as low as 7.3 or potentially as high as 14.7. So I might want to put this into words. Um, it hasn't asked it, but it's usually just a good thing to do. So I am 95% confident that um, New Zealanders, make sure we're specific with the population here, New Zealanders that prefer to live in Australia will likely be between 7.3% to 14.7%. Now, here's the one catch that I would say. Because this 11%, so you don't necessarily have to write this, but just as a side note, that 11% is less than 30%. And remember, the margin of error is only good between 30 and 70%. Outside of that, it should be smaller. So the MOE and confidence interval should be smaller than 3.7%. Um, so in this case, both the MOE is just going to shrink up, and that means that our confidence interval is going to shrink up. Maybe I'd write that a different way. The MOE will be smaller than 3.7% which makes the confidence interval slightly oops slightly more narrow or smaller as well okay so that's kind of a side note to keep in mind again percentages that you're trying to compare um if they not compare but a percentage that you're trying to make a confidence interval around specifically like respondents on a poll so this is not this has nothing to do with differences, but when you're just responding, looking at the numbers that are responding in the poll, so for instance, the 61%, um, etc., these, all these numbers, the only one that's going to be valid for the rule of thumb is actually this one here. The rest of them are all under 30. So keep that in mind.